the three weeks, you ask the question, what percentage of your overall original symptoms are gone? At three weeks, the average is 70%. At two months, which is nine weeks after delivery, it's 86%. At four months, it's uh, 92, I believe it was. And then at uh, six months, when we get people back at six months, uh, in that 50, um, if the 50 member study, uh, it was, I believe, a 96%. That's what I found. So uh, the protocol is, is very simple. Uh, you can vary it depending on the patient's response on many occasions, many more than one occasions. When the patient comes back at three weeks and they say, all of my symptoms are gone, I, I have a tendency to go directly into nighttime only, especially if they're adolescents, especially if they're 15, 16 year old females, uh, that gets you out from underneath the concern that there may be some tooth movement in soft bone in adolescence, and you get them into nighttime as soon as practical. That brings up uh, my first thought about all this is uh, the third cause of temporomandibular joint um, symptoms, which is functional malocclusion, which again opens up a whole other uh, installment, maybe several installments about what that means, what the definition of functional malocclusion is, how do you handle the functional malocclusions? And not being an orthodontist, but being very familiar with orthodontics, with my 40 year career doing orthognathic surgery and working with literally most of the orthodontists in my, my uh, area, one time or another, I'm, I'm familiar with, um, with using orthodontic techniques to move teeth around and to create, hopefully in most cases, an occlusion that is uh, that has the centric occlusion and centric relation similar, if not identical, which is the ideal scene. As you all know, no one, no one naturally has a CO equals CR. So everyone has the potential to have a functional malocclusion if the difference between CO and CR are significant. Definition of functional malocclusion is a significant difference between CO and CR. And what's the definition of significant? Well, that's where it gets a little, a little fuzzy. I won't go into that. That's uh, again, another installment. But again, getting back to the point of the protocol, the protocol using the tool uh, is uh, consistent.